to my elite chums this video is like a garage tour for spaceships but I'm going to talk about all of my early beginner spaceships and I'm going to review them quite critically um, from my noob perspective as it was then to see um, where it all went wrong and what I could do to basically improve the ships to make them better so we're going to start off with of course it's going to be the Cobra Mark III. Now we're not going to start off with the um, Sidewinder because I've upgraded that already but this one I'm pretty sure it hasn't haven't touched so this is the one we're going to start off with. We're going to go through a few other ships as well. Now most of these ships are all about either mixed kind of goods or trade and there's also a combat vessel as well to keep you entertained. I'll put a few little links in the bottom so you can scroll forwards if you fancy it. So we're going to go through the outfitting. So this has um, got a pulse laser don't know why um, it's completely pointless in a two group I really what I want is two pulse lasers and two um, miniguns in there and probably gimbaled rather than hard kind of there so let's get rid of that sell it because we're not going to use that but I'm assuming this was like um, a ship for a bit of mixed goods so utility mounts have got zero you'd probably want a heat sink launcher on there but um, you might be alright without it. Now, looking at the main point here, well, we've got um, lightweight alloys is okay. Power plant 4E, that is ridiculous. You shouldn't have that, really. You should um, at least go for a 4D. Um, and that's, let's face it, a 4D is, is overdone, but what it'll do, it'll make it more lightweight. So let's wang in a 4D. This is going to be one of the things, and I just put store current. I'm, I shouldn't have stored it. Um, but thrusters, now... I actually have flown this and it's pretty decent to fly even with these 4E thrusters but what I would do with these is I'd decide what you're going to do if you want a combat build you want 4A but otherwise you want 4D for weight so there's the 4A thrusters and we're over at ohm so I'm not sure we have 4D which might be why I've not put them on but actually there's no excuse I must have flown it and thought it was nice to fly and uh, look at that you also have the set for the same weight you get better performance with the A so we're going to put those in we're going to sell the module. We don't need a 4E module ever. FSD. Again, here I've gone for a 4B. We've got 16 jump range fully loaded. Um, so it's okay, but always put a, an A rated if you can. Uh, not a D rated. Where's the 4A? Have we got a 4A? There we have it. 1.3 million. So that's probably why. This costs 340 grand. So that's probably why I've put in a B rather than an A because of the price difference. Life support. Now, just standard, you put a 3D. Um, but you could put an A or a higher rated one if you're going to do a bit of combat. But D, you can do all right, all right with combat as long as you don't get a cracked canopy. Um, power distributor. So I'm going to go mixed kind of goods. So it's going to be probably a, a D, I think. Um, were we on three then? Yeah, I think so. Uh, let's go for D. Oh, we've not got one, have we? Sensors. Sorry, not sensors. No, post it distributor. Let's get a D in there if we can. There is no D, is there? Three A is all we've got. Uh, maybe that's why I've not done it because I didn't have access to it and I couldn't be bothered flying around looking for the thing. Okay, so a 3A is good for combat, 130 grand. Uh, yeah, why not? We'll put it in. Um, we may as well, just in case we do a combat build. That's overdone. I'd probably go and seek out a D rated. Sensors, always a D really. It's just better for weight, better for performance, get us more jump range. Right, that's the core internals. Now it's mixed goods. You've got a lot of um, a lot of cargo racking here. So I've obviously done courier missions and cargo kind of a few a bit of uh, minor level trading. But what you can't forgive though is another a four E shield generator. So four E we want to replace that with a D minimum or an A if you're going to be doing some kind of combat. So have we got a four D? Um, three D? No. We could put a three D in actually for. Um, if you're just doing mixed goods, not doing any combat, because um, you, you should always escape the interdictions. That's basically it. But um, 3D would work as well, so let's wang a 3D in. I know it's wrong. Um, we got a, oh, we've got a prismatic. What's that doing? That completely nails our jump range because of the weight of it and the power. So we're going to put a D in. Let's just put it in. I know it's wrong in a four slot, but there we go. Fuel scoop, we've got a 2B, which is forgivable. You've got to go 2A, though, if you can afford it, ultimately, and racking for the rest. Super cruise assist, that's all right. Advanced docking computer, you probably don't need it, but as a beginner, you know it's going to be useful. So that's that's the, the good old 3, Cobra Mark 3. Okay. 
so here we are in our Cobra Mark III. What a beast! We've actually put the aerated thrusters in at this point, so the main difference I notice is not so much the handling, but the boost speed, which is, brings it up to nearly 450. So that is a rapid little ship, and you could almost get this to a spire site. Actually, I bet you could get it to a spire site with the boost like that, but um, Glaive's are going to smash you completely. Handling's pretty decent as well, and even though it's not made for combat, you know, it's um, the Viper 3 is the one that you want to get for the combat. You know, I still think it would be decent. It would still be a good little combat ship, this. Why not? And the handling is just so nice and smooth. That's what you want from a ship. It's pretty reliable for a first ship you, you purchase, and it's easy to fly. I can see why it's recommended so heavily. What a ship. What a little beast. Let's go into a landing. And uh, Oh, one thing I did do, I, get, I got rid of that um, auto-docking because it was frustrating as hell because it was the advanced auto docking which means it, it, it tries to make it tries to take off for you as well as land for you which I mean it's just terrible I prefer landing myself I'll show you how good it is shall we let's go go for some landings and we've got 12 pad 12 there hello chum we got a <laughs> what's that anaconda yeah that's one of the big boys we're not doing a big boys we're not doing big boys today just the little ones little chums Actually, we have got a little, we've got a large one in coming in. So that is it, the Mark III. What a little beast! Now the third ship I bought was the Type VI Trader, and that cost one million. <laughs> First off, we've got pulse lasers. What is this all about? I'm pretty sure I've never fired those in anger, and I always escaped interdiction because it has pretty good handling for a trading vessel, and. You're going to be surprised by the kind of modules I've gone for here, but it's purely aimed at kind of uh, jump range, I think was what I, one of the things I was aiming for. Um, we've got a chaff launcher, which I can't remember using, heat sink launcher, point defense. I'm not sure the point defense is super useful as uh, to escape stuff, but I suppose it's going to stop. Actually, no, I'm wrong about that. That's going to stop hatch breakers with pirates, so that is useful. Um, so we've got a lightweight ally. Power plant is a 3B, which is all you need at the moment, looking at the power we need there. Thrusters are a 4D, those are doable. You could put an A rated to give you a bit of extra maneuverability, but you really don't need it. FSD, oh, there's the inexcusable bit. 4D, that should not be there. It gives us 10 light years, which is all right. How did I ever cope with that? Um, so we want a 4A, 1.3 million. It costs as much, costs more than the whole thing. <laughs> um, but... It gives us 19 jump, light, light year laden jump range, which is uh, ideal. So we've got the thrusters, we've got the power plant. No power plant, do we really need that? Do, don't we need, like, can't we get away with, like, um, a 4D or something? Will that not work? Incompatible slot. What? What, what are you on about, man? Uh. No, the thrusters, the thrusters. Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? 3D, that's it. Sorry, I'm getting confused here. The long day. 14 million. Oh, it's because I don't have enough power for it. So, unfortunately not. Yes, okay. That's good. Right, glad we sorted that out. Live support 2B, we really don't need that. Um, it's way overboard. We're not going to get interdicted. So, therefore, 2D. Thank you very much. That gives us more energy. Power distributor 3D is ideal. Sensors 2E, we don't need those. We need a derated sensor, so 3 million as well. Cheap, good. Um, so that makes it gives us a bit more jump range, decimals of jump range, not a lot. Okay, so what have we got here? We've got a lot of cargo racks, great. A shield generator, you could argue that if you're going to have somebody that really wants to kill you, that's not going to save you. So what we could do is go for a 3D shield, shield generator. And let's just get that, shall we? And we've also got docking computer, which you don't need, but, you know. Oh, 2A fuel scoop. Well done. you got a decent one there. Uh, decent. Could be a bit bigger, but, you know, it's fine, I think. It'll work. And um, let's have a look at that power plant, see if we can knock it down at last to a 3D. And that'll be it complete. So we... Were, oh, sorry, I can't even see it. There it is. Okay. Just about. Just nailed it on the head. Gets us 19.8 jump range so that is pretty decent 
uh, fully loaded that is of course but 30 uh, unloaded so that is it complete and it does fly pretty nicely for a uh, a cargo cargo vessel next day eh? what are we having next well it looks like we jumped from a cargo vessel to an explorer the aspect explorer this was my first ship that was going to go all the way around the world and I did do some exploring but this is an upgraded one as well so it's not going to be amazingly bad it should have generally, generally it should be good mining laser so we need that for exploration um, now turret defenses I've got two of these because I went to the um, guardian site that, this is my main guardian site visitor uh, heat sinks etc um, a rated power plant defrosters you know it's all D life support. If anything, you know, you got D life support, D sensors is always the case, just with every ship. PD uh, distributed for 2A, so we've downsized it to get the power just about right. Okay. And this is the interesting one Fuel Scoop 6B. That should be a 6A. We don't have one at this station. Vehicle hanger of 4G. The problem I have with this, now it's good for the Guardian ru Ruins because you want two in case you break one, um, but I'd, pu I'd put a, in a 5H uh, Guardian Frameshift booster to get the extra jump range. And I'd swap these two around and downsize the planetary vehicle hangar. Shield generator 3A, I put that in because I had some paranoid moments. 3D would work, but a hard planetary landings of 3A is better, arguably with a booster, a shield booster as well. Auto field maintenance unit 3A. Ideal detailed surface scanner for the old uh, kind of knocking around space, searching for new planets and scanning the planets. Another auto field maintenance unit. That is almost overboard, but it's fine. If you've got an empty slot, got nothing else for it, chuck it in there. But you could, if it was a pure explorer, you could put some limpets in. Limpet controller, perhaps, but it might push it with what your modules are because we've got super cruise assist, but no docking computer at this point. Very good. Well done. So, but that's that's not the new build. <laughs> it should be good. Okay, so my fifth vessel was actually Space Hog Two, which is the Type Seven transporter. So let's go into that and have a look at how we've done. Now, hopefully, we've done a lot better than the Type Six, um, which you'd expect as I'm learning as a player, as a as a pilot. <laughs> what the hell is that? Beam laser. Why the hell have it? I've upgraded it to a beam laser. What an idiot. Why? Why am I? I'm not going to fight the cat pirates. I use this for transport. I didn't use it for anything special. I didn't use it for obviously not mining. It's not a mining setup. Didn't get into mining until much later. And all my mining builds got deleted because I stored the modules, so I can't show you those. Um, but I can show you heat sink boost. Sorry, shield booster. Two of them. OAs. Uh, I'm not sure about that. Whether we need to have two. Heat sink launcher two. Good. That's all right. Um, we could even have a point point defense down below. One of these could be a point defense, for example. If you've got cargo, maybe. Um, I mean, it's not essential because you normally, I mean, any pirates, honestly, you just normally just get rid of them. And we'll put it in just for kind of um, simulated kind of glory. Um, but but pirates don't normally get you, and you should be able to escape them when they try and get you in Super Cruise, um, playing the Super Cruise mini game. Now, power plants, 3B, bit overboard perhaps with all this uh, power overhead. Now we've got rid of those lasers. Thrust is 5A, fine, it does drive nicely, but the 5A does make it better, so I can see why I've done that. Helps you escape the interdictions. For FST, 5A, I've learned my lesson. Getting a 16 jump range there, fully loaded. Uh, 4A, life support, good. Power distributor could be a bit lower, perhaps. We could lower that to a 4D if we wanted to, for weight limits, maybe we should do that. Um, just for the hell of it, because um, we don't need all that. Really, it's not a combat build, um, so let's let's put that in. We could perhaps even go lower to a 3A, um, but I'm not. I don't know the exact build, so I'm going to do that. Uh, sensors 3D, good. We've done that correctly. In here we have cargo 64s. We've got a, a three of them. Now this is a, a decent cargo build. Now it's on. It only lands on large pads though, um, for some reason. Even though it's a kind of intermediate. Uh, field shield generator 5B. Um, yeah. I'm not sure we need all that power, that shield strength, and for the weight of it, what what weight is it? Let's have a look. Um, let's have a look at some more shield generators, shall we? Uh, da -da -da -da. Five. Let's look at the five. Five A. No, that was probably lighter. You know, if we're going to go, we may as well go all in. You know, if we're going to go for it, this is 32. This is 20. So it gives you extra jump range. Or we could go for a D-rated, which doesn't seem to be exist. So I'm going to go. 
I can see why I've not done it 4.2 million, but we're doing the ultimate build here. This is not necessarily your build. And then we can get rid of those, one of those shield boosters, I think. Fuel scoop, again, 3B. We could get, get a 3A to maximize that. No, I am tempted. Let's have a look what's actually in here to see if we've got any 3A school fuel scoops um, at this station, which we may not have. By this point, I'm all over the place. So, oh, we've got one, but it's over at, at somewhere else. Oh, somewhere else. Oh, I've got my fleet carrier here. No, we can't do it. So, unfortunately, they don't sell them here. Um, 3B. So, we got cargo rack. Good. Um, we've got super advanced docking computer. You don't need it. It's still a large ship. So, you still not, might not be confident. So, I'll do that. Um, let's have a look. So, I'm going to swap one of these for a heat sink because we don't need all those um, heat sinks. So we'll wang one of these in. That's stored here. We don't need that, do we? Find a quip. There we go. That's it. Complete. Now it's a decent flying ship as well. You could do some, uh, you could do some upgrades as well with your engineering. But I'd probably, if I'm going to engineer engineer anything on a ship, I'm going to start off with the FSD. And as it's a 5A, this is an ideal one to start. Um, engineering but I'd recommend you buy the pre-engineered FSD from the tech broker and use that and then transfer it to each ship as you change until you can afford more than one of them of course that's it complete nice ship well once I'd finished with Space Hog 2 I decided to get into a bit of combat so the Vulture was the way to go now this one I didn't say Space Hog 2 cost 17 million the Vulture costs 4.9 million now I have I haven't upgraded a lot with this, so it is pretty similar. There is something that's obvious though. Advanced Plasma Accelerator, because I've, I've just unlocked those. That's why I've thrown them on. And look at the power! It was perfect for them. But I'll show you what was in originally. It was actually a uh, beam laser, not beam laser, a pulse laser. Now if you're unsure what, what modules you can take, a pulse, buddying up a pulse laser. Where has it gone? There's a, there's, a, there's a big pulse laser somewhere. Actually, maybe it's a burst laser that goes with this one. So it's either pulse or burst. Um, so we've obviously gone burst. And there it is, um, a gimbaled 3E burst laser. But what I married that up with was actually a uh, multi-cannon. I call them miniguns, don't I? Um, so it was was actually a, not a gimbaled one, it was a uh, fixed one. So I obviously learned how to fly the thing a little bit at some point. And uh, fixed weapons are pretty good because it's, so, it's got such good handling on this ship. So those two will... They're a good basic start-up for the ship until you start getting used to other weapons. Um, but best is probably... Some people argue having double multi-cannon with one of them with thermal or both with thermal, something like that. Um, but yeah, that's another way to go. We can talk about that all, all day long. Point defense, completely pointless. Um, but shield booster, we've got one of those, an OA, and a kill warrant scanner. So for some reason, I've gone for a C. I'd, I'd A rate it, but obviously the C is cheaper. Um, so that's why I've done that. Heat sink, I'm not sure we need that. Maybe we do some cold, cold maneuvering, perhaps. Core internal. Now, the important bit is lightweight alloys. We could upgrade, upgrade those to military grade. Um, they're not... Not, probably not cheap here, are they? Oh no, we don't have any. Uh, we can't. We can't get those. Um, but anyway, I put a military grade in, but military grade will make more mass, so it'll um, affect your handling. But we've we've unlocked engineering at this point, so you can see the power point plant is engineered. And the reason why you need that is because um, it's so small for the, those massive, massive weapons that it's got on board. So it's nearly to the max. It's class 4 g4 there um could be a bit higher and i've not got any experimental it wants an experimental but i've obviously couldn't be asked flying out to get it experimentalized dirty drive to tuning similarly um class 3 there not got any experimental effect fsd we don't need to upgrade that because i was always running out of lhs 20 i think for this just going pirate hunting um out there Life support, 3D, arguably you could have a 3A because it's easy enough to bust the canopy, but it's not a long flight back to the um, back to the hotel, as we say, back to the station from the rings here. So that's why I've not put that in. PD, 5A, essential, um, because you, you, want, you want to keep your beams blasting away as much as possible. Sensors 4D for lightweightness, ideal. Here's a, here's a good bit. It's quite, quite a good build, this. You'll be quite surprised. <laughs> Reinforced shields. Now, it's a bi-weave, but um, the mistake is it's not on fast charge. We've not got a fast charge experimental. Um, only G1 because um, we don't have a lot of power overhead. So, yeah, 
Um, we could get rid of the booster and put in one of them because we've got a booster there, haven't we, up there? So we could get rid of the shield booster and upgrade and put something else in there, but I can't think of anything useful. Um, hull defense, 5D. Oh, I didn't notice that was a 5D. What am I thinking? That needs to be a 5A, so hopefully we have 5As in here, in here somewhere. 5D. Oh, no, sorry. Oh, what am I thinking? You know what? The 5A doesn't even exist. Sorry, dudes, I'm giving you a bum steer there. This is the highest, because it's the other one. It's the G, isn't it? There's the lower and that E, whatever. Um, we also got the Guardian ones. Guardian hull gives us more hull, but um, you could just engineer one of these. So it already has the ideal. I know what I'm doing at this point for some reason. By 7, I know what I'm doing. Um, 2A shield cell bank as well. That's going to only feed us three kind of recharges on that. And I think it only does about half of it or something. So it's not immense, but it's enough when you're in a bit of a pickle. This will help out for sure, which I've I have used um, while I've been relearning this. AF auto field maintenance unit. I, I had a cracked windscreen. I fixed it with that. Um, you've also got this um, cargo. We put a lot of limpets in. 16 limpets because, and this is quite useful. We have the repair limpet controller 1a i've fixed the windscreen on it when it's been smashed in with that really really useful to keep on the battle you also just use it generally because your shields are going to go down at some point unless you get bit on the six and i'm not good enough at that super cruise assist we don't really need that but we've got it for comfortability um, you could put another um, reinforcement path kitch i'd go a whole reinforcement 1d on that and that's it complete very nice ship very nice build i think you'll agree so that is the ships really but um, we should probably look at some others surprisingly we have the hauler at this point this is the 41st ship that I bought and the reason why I'm going to show you I'm going to show you the error that I made because this ship runs really hot um, and I did not have any heat sinks on whatsoever and got kind of not stuck at a star but um, yeah I had an interesting moment where it was just overheating massively so let's put those on right now otherwise it's the usual kind of explorer build um, kind of jump range kind of ship it's really a bubble bus but you could use it for exobiology exploring that kind of thing and that's probably what it's ideal for I am going to test it out with some exobiology at some point when I get a chance so that is the hauler the sidewinder at last my delicate flower we're gonna see what MV01 was all about, we're well, not really. Um, this is the upgraded version which I've messed around him with um, to the hilt because I wanted it to A-rate everything and make it all for flight performance. I used it a little bit for learning FA off a little bit, um, but otherwise it's all the usual stuff A-rated. And it's, I also use it a bit as a bubble bus as well, just for transporting other ships around and to give me uh, some one-way tickets, etc. So we've got um, FSD booster just in case I want to fly around. You could use this one for exobiology as well so that is it those are all of the ships all done 100 percent all of my noob builds so i hope you found this entertaining and enjoyable and perhaps useful to give you an idea how to start out building your vessels and making your ship collection in elite dangerous and if you found it useful do drop a like give me your comments or questions down below and i'll try my very best to answer and i wasn't going to do ship builds as a primary thing for this part of the channel the um, elite part of the channel but if you want any other ship builds or garage tours, um, then I'll do my very best to do it. I've got 50 odd ships, so I've got a, a few different builds for different activities such as mining. So do let me know if you want any more of that. Thank you very much for watching though, and have the best of all possible days in this, the best of all possible elite worlds. What is that quote paraphrased from? There you go. There's your question. Drop that in. Thank you.